Hi, today's video, I'm going to talk about cassette players in a car stereo. You're probably going, what is a cassette player? Well, it used to be the thing that played music on a reel-to-reel -reel tape, but that's fallen out of favor. And now, to get around that and to play Bluetooth music, they've come up with this cassette adapter, which is also a Bluetooth transmitter. So a brilliant idea, but as we can see, when I put this in here, it's definitely needing some work. I've got two problems with this cassette adapter, and I will show you what they are, and then I'm going to try and fix both issues. All right, now we've got the radio on and we're gonna put in this cassette adapter and I'll show you what the first problem is. And basically almost all of these have this same problem where they are very noisy because the components inside are just really loose. Let's hear it. That's pretty gross sounding, but when you have the music on, it definitely drowns it out. But if you have it on at a low volume, you're gonna hear this. The other problem is the uh, cassette keeps ejecting and uh, it, just, it just doesn't like this not real cassette and it knows it's kind of fakey because, you know, it's not very um, consistent in the way that the things, the wheels turn because they're plastic gears really and not an actual reel-to-reel. -reel. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take out the screws in this case and then see what's inside. And I will uh, be right back. Now that the bolts are out, we can remove this top cover. There's basically nothing on this side. On this side, we've got a series of uh, plastic gears and the Bluetooth mechanism and the board. And basically, I believe all of these gears are here just to make it think that there's something similar to a tape in here because a tape would, uh, would go across the front here and onto the other reel and you know it provide a little bit of tension and I think that's what this is for and what the real noisy part is is that these gears are not very well lubricated and they move around a bit and you know that's just why they're loud so if you put some like petroleum jelly on these things something some kind of thicker lubrication i think that'll keep the sound less and that's what i'm going to do with these and technically i guess the these wheels don't even need to be in here so you could probably take out all of these gears and it'll still work because they don't serve any purpose in transmitting the bluetooth signal um i think like i said it's more of trying to mimic the tension of having an actual tape in there so the other issue that i was having was uh it kept uh, ejecting every minute or or less, and that was really annoying. And to most likely uh, fix that, I'm gonna take out this gear here, which um, is basically sliding back and forth, and um, I don't think it's. I don't think it's doing what it was intended to do. 
So hopefully that will solve the e ejecting problem and the lubrication will solve the noise problem. And um, I'm gonna put some lubrication on these gears and then um, put it all back together and put it back in and we'll see what it sounds like then. All right, I'm back. So what I did was I put a few globs of petroleum jelly here and here and on this gear and on the tops of those just see what happens. And I also put a couple of pieces of duct tape up on the top to just put a little more pressure on the on the rotating gears here because hopefully they don't jiggle around so much so let's see if that fixes anything and if it does then I'm gonna leave it alone and if it doesn't then I'm gonna take out the, all the gears basically the one in the middle here all of these over here and probably just leave these two uh, gears and that should take care of everything that way too all right here we are back in the car and uh i've got the bluetooth going and this is going to be the first try after we put some lubrication in there and put some tape in it and took out one gear Let's see how it sounds Not 100% great, but not terrible either. All right, it's been uh, a few songs now, and it's pretty quiet still. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think it's gonna be super quiet ever, but that's quiet enough where it's not annoying and clicky clacky and it also has not ejected so I think I fixed that too by removing that gear hopefully you'll like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos on cars and concerts